Ravi and Karen organizers say they are simply trying to work to cultivate the Muslim community and that their criticism of capitalism is not an attempt to malign the United States. But critics of the Islamic Conference call the group anti-American and accuse its organizers of using today's gathering to recruit those against democracy. Because I believe in democracy. The Islamic Conference about the ills of capitalism drew the ire of those in protest. It is banned in Germany. They tried to ban it in Britain, weren't able to ban it here. And uh, as a result, they're able to come here with impunity, talk down about America. The Chicago chapter of the international group, Hizbah Tahrir, did not allow our cameras to attend today's Khalafa Conference 2009. Its theme, the fall of capitalism and the rise of Islam, with lectures addressing the distribution of wealth in Islam. Despite that, some attendees say the conference is not anti-American. It's only uh, the media, unfortunately, and some other people, conservatives, who make up these ideas that the Islam or, or Muslims are terrorists. This July 19th, moment of freedom. Jim M., the founder of Washington, D.C.-based peace group responsible for equality and liberty, says the controversial Islamic group promotes hate. They can publicly recruit individuals to be against democracy and freedom. Sunday's gathering drew plenty of extra security and the curious, as organizers say they're the victims of misinformation and negative stereotypes and deny any support of terrorists. They said one of the masterminds of 9-11 was ex-member of Hizb uh, which is the group that sponsored this organization. All of this is absolutely baseless, absolutely not. In a statement, the Jewish Federation of Metropolitan Chicago says the group's ideology is hostile to capitalism and other notions of Western liberalism. Members of the Hizbuturiya group say they want a caliphate, a unified Islamic doctrine under which a worldwide Muslim leader is held accountable. Critics say the fringe group's teachings are not based in authentic Islamic doctrine. The proper response to a group like this is to uh, debunk their uh, philosophy. Organizers claim to have around 700 participants throughout the day. The event's venue, the Oak Lawn Hilton, was not the original host of today's conference. A Muslim school in Bridgeview retracted its invitation after the school officials say that the group misrepresented its intentions. Husbotulia refutes that, saying that the school knew what they were going to be doing all along. And part of that was they said, well, they were going to have like a bake sale. And then this group says, no, they knew we were going to have a conference, so mm. we don't really know what they're talking about. Mm. Interesting. Yeah, right. it is, isn't it? A lot we'll of controversy. Mm -hmm. Thank Thanks, you, Evelyn.